Hi, Paul Gerard from Price Accounting Services. Back in this um, video, we're going to talk about just some general other forms of trust which you may have heard about, um, which fall into our series on structures. One of the most common ones, um, common forms of trust which people may consider is what is referred to as a testamentary trust. And a testamentary trust is a trust which is established through your will. So the key catch to a testamentary trust is it is generally established upon death. So for example, if we, when we're talking about wills and estates, we're talking about a will that gives. So generally speaking, a will, if we think of what, we, what I'll call a give will, a give will will say that I leave my whole of my estate, my assets to my spouse, okay? In contrast, a testamentary will may say that about specific gifts or assets. So for example, a wife may say, I wish to leave my rings to my daughter and I wish to leave um, a sum of $50,000 to my beloved sister and then the rest of my estate I intend to leave on trust in a testamentary trust for my children. So that's an example of a testamentary trust. So on your death, the, the deed may be, a st may be attached to the will. And so that estate, that trust estate, comes into existence on death. And so the will will contemplate, and the will will have been prepared under sound legal advice that considers who's going to manage that trust who's going to be the trustee for that trust. For example, it'd be fairly pointless to leave all of uh, mum's uh, rest and residue of her estate to her daughter and also leave her daughter as the sole trustee because the daughter could basically just ignore the mother's instructions. But you might have, for example, um, a good friend plus um, another party who will act as trustees until the daughter attains a specific age, in which case then the assets might pass to her. So that's the type of um, trust you get with a testamentary trust. Some real key benefits, um, it means that you don't inherit assets. Um, I'll use an example of a client who he had um, very extreme concerns about his asset protection and he was buying investment properties and he was concerned that he would accumulate assets in his own name. And I said, okay, that's fine. You probably need to see a solicitor, set up a trust, etc." And he said, and he started explaining his parents. Now his parents own many, many properties um, and all are unencumbered. And he stands to inherit a very substantial amount from his parents. So. It seemed almost futile for him to be establishing a trust to hold his own assets in trust as a form of asset protection from a potential future partner or whatever it might be, when he stood to inherit $20 million. So I sent him along to a lawyer who then spoke in the Chinese language to his parents and suggested they consider a testamentary trust in each of their names so that um, this particular client would not inherit but would inherit the entitlement and rights as a beneficiary to a testamentary entitlement. So I hope that explains that. Um, so I'm not going to mention a lot more about it. Um, this is definitely an area for legal advice and it's not an area of practice we can assist with because it is a legal service. So, but I raise it because it's got some real key tax benefits in it. Um, for example, children under a certain age can preserve and obtain some great tax benefits in the event of the parent's death. Okay, but we'll skip that for now. Another form of trust which um, might be rarely used might be a bear trust. Uh, and there's all sorts of forms of trust which can be um, either explicit, so they might be in writing, alternatively, they might be implied. Um, so we have bare trusts and all sorts of other forms of trust that exist in law and definitely an area for legal advice because you don't want to get these areas wrong and they do need specific um, formulation to ensure that they comply with perhaps even stamp duty law, tax law, capital gains, tax, and a whole host of other issues. So 
uh, it's one for a lawyer. So if you've got any questions about general forms of trust, we do welcome it. Um, but if it relates to legal advice, you know, the answer is see a lawyer. So I hope that's been helpful for uh, you in understanding these um, trust issues. And we look forward to seeing you again. Cheers.